Hello everyone and welcome to Agile Tech. So in this video, we're looking at the second part of this question and we're using the Microsoft Word to perform the task. They said, type a formal letter to your local government chairman appealing for the rehabilitation of a township road in your locality. The letter should not be more than three paragraphs, which includes your introduction, body and conclusion. So I'm going to use my Word. I'm going to open Word. I'm going to click on open and I'm going to click on a blank document. Okay, so I'm going to pause it a bit because it's a lot of typing for me and then we'll be back. All right. Okay, so we have this. So now I have the formal letter here, my name, the estate, Uyo, Kwaibon State, and then to the chairman, Uyo Local Government, number 52 Government House, Kwaibon State. So this is it. Yes, sir. Appeal for the rehabilitation of a code in Uyo. I hope this letter finds you well. I'm writing to bring to your attention the deteriorating condition of a code, which has become a significant concern for the citizens of for the residents of Uyo. This is fictional. I'm just putting some things together. Um, this road, which serves as a vital link within our community, has suffered severe damage due to years of neglect and adverse weather conditions. The potholes and eroded surfaces have made it nearly impossible, impossible posing risks to both motorists and pedestrians. Given the importance of this road to the given the importance of this road to the daily lives of the residents, I fully appeal for this prompt re rehabilitation. The restoration of this road would not only improve transportation within our locality, but also contribute to the overall safety and well-being of the community. I am confident that under your extreme leadership, these necessary steps will be taken to address this issue. Thank you for your attention to this matter. I look forward to a positive response and timely intervention. Yours faithfully, Ejawa Endi. Okay, so now that we have done this, um, okay. Oops. Okay, so let's see what to do. They said, type the first letter of each word in both addresses in uppercase, the first letter, okay? So we're typing the first letter of each word. Okay, so it's done. done. So I have here a Joe, Andy, and I have the chairman. Italicize your salutation. Okay, I'm going to italicize it done type your heading in uppercase font size 14 and embolden okay so this is going to be an uppercase it's going to be 14 and is already bolded use single line spacing for the body of the letter single line spacing done drop cap the first alphabet of each paragraph to two lines This right here, insert to two lines, job cap option um, to two lines. I'm just, I'm just going to change it here. So job cap, so lines to drop two, okay, for each paragraph. 
so drop cap options here change it to two after your validity type in your full name and registration number so this is my full name my registration is going to be ng0001 at the bottom left of your letter so i've done that print out the hard copy of your work okay so let's save this file save as browse download so this is going to be litter you just put it formal litter then i'll save file save us and i'm going to make it pdf state two precautions perform while performing the tax and of course two functions of the back space key and mention two differences between copy and cut in microsoft word so i'm going to do this file blank document and i'm going to have to pause and then do the typing all right now what we did here is let's go back with answered everything state precautions while performing taking while performing the tasks I, I did more than two I ensure the correct software was used to carry out these tasks. I ensure single line for the body was applied. You can see here, if you look at it, they said what? Um, use single line spacing for the body of the letter. So I ensured single line spacing for the body was applied. I ensured the drop cap was only applied to the first letter in each paragraph. Okay and dropped to two lines and here you see that drop the cap drop cap the first alphabet of each paragraph to two lines so i ensured that um, the drop cap was applied to the first alphabet in each paragraph and dropped to two lines okay the second one here which is the bii bii mission to difference between copy and cut in microsoft word and now i have now for copy this is to what duplicate the selected text or image leaving the original one in place the copy content is stored on the clipboard right so when you click on you highlight and you copy it's stored in the clipboard allowing you to paste it as well in the document or in a different application so you're leaving the original one you're duplicating the, the, the selected text or image the original one is left and also you're copying the content um the content and it's being stored on the clipboard that can allow you to paste it anywhere okay for cut, it removes the selected text or image from its original location. That's cut. So it removes the selected text or image from its what, original location. Again, the cut content is also stored on the clipboard, allowing you to paste it elsewhere in the document or in a different application. Now, the next one is give two functions of the backspace key. Okay, so you have your backspace key on your keyboard. Now, delete character to the left. So the backspace, pressing the backspace, delete character to the left of the cursor. So for example, I'm using the backspace now. You can see that it's deleted. Okay, I'm going to do it. Again, delete selection. If set, if text is selected, right, um, I, can, I can just put this. Just put this one here. Okay, let me just leave it like this. So it's just be on one line. Um, delete selection. If text is selected, pressing the backspace deletes the entire selection. Move cursor left. If no character is selected, backspacing. If no car character is selected, pressing backspace move the cursor one character to the left. Okay. So if there's no character that is selected, so pressing the backspace will move the character to the left 
deleting previous character in a field in some application backspace delete the previous character in a field such as web address or search bar okay so in some application the backspace would lead the previous character in a field now also take note that uh navigation in some programs is also part of it in some programs backspace act as a navigation shortcut taking you back to previous page or level i hope that is um understood okay Okay, let me just do this all right so now i need to save this file save us browse go to download this is going to be question two okay and now file save us it's important to always write your name and your examination number okay so i guess that is all for this um question in our next video we'll look at the microsoft um the database part all right see you in the next one bye bye